morning, good afternoon, good evening from whatever you're watching. We are back! I'm super excited. I don't know if you are excited as I am, but I know you are because there's no way this does not make you happy. It does make me happy. I hope you missed me because I missed you. So, of course, we are going to be, you know, giving you stories and we have a mysterious guest. So, what's that one to introduce? My name is Nana Witi and Kariboni Sana. What's up? Wazanen, mko vipi, mko aje. Sijui kama mesawa mysterious, sijui kama promo ilikuwa isha enda, hama nilikuwa na vaku ngojea joyo. Ilikuwa ikuwa joyo, by the way. Oh, ala, isha enda. Isha enda, sinio. Welcome, welcome. We have an amazing show lined up for you, not just today's show, because, Yani, we are here to make sure that your Thursdays our fire moto bandem Ferrari, like Nana would say. And I'm excited to be back. I am your host, Wikali. We're back, baby! Wagwan, beautiful people! How are you guys doing? I have uh, missed you guys so much. And for all the people who didn't stop asking where we are, thank you. You are the reason we are back. Honestly, like you guys showed us so much love. You guys kept reminding us every single day that we know we need to come back and give you tea and do all the good, fun stuff that we used to do. So, yes, here we are. Our handles are still the same. Switch TV KE on Instagram, Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And Karibuni Sana, I am Joyce Miner. Mm -hmm. What's up, girl? Yes, you guys. What's What's up? Mean? <laughs> well, it, me, I'm telling you, my DM has not stopped. Like, neither when has mine. Back, when yeah. Yeah. And then most of them, I think they were, like, somehow away. Mm. And then they came back and their TV is just... Yeah, but we are here now. <laughs> we are here now. And some will not even know that we actually like shut down. Yeah. It will be more of. I'm not really leaning. I'm a signet. You are channel. Ni gani ni network? Ni eh eh. We are back. We are back. We're back. We're back. YouTube, social media, but we go like this. Kukwa mutanda. Now neza tungeleisha ta kwa SMS line. Yes. Triple one, triple four, triple one. That is our S. It feels good to see you. Yeah. I know, right? We are back. Yeah. Such a nice feeling. What well, feelings <laughs> are about? Yeah, because it's so cold, guys. Me, I don't know if you're seeing this kabuti I'm wearing. Hey, it's yeah. cold. Where? But you know, the warm feelings are keeping us warm. Yes, yeah. they are. Yes, they are. Yes. Yeah, so, guys, as usual, we have to start you off with the hottest tea of the week, of the day, depending on which day you see this. But yes, let's start you <laughs> off with some hot tea on Pop Spot. <laughs> so, who has the first story? And I do have the first story. And and I do have the first story, and it's not really. I, I, I hate it that I had to start on a sad note. Because oh. I'm, I'm honestly like super sad because of what has been happening to our heroine. Her name is Congestina Acheng. I don't know if you guys know Congestina. Millennials, mm -hmm. this woman did it for us. She's participated in more than 27 games, and wow. 16 games she won. And, yep. and I think a draw in, in like less. Uh, losses were like less than six yeah. so wow. you can imagine this is someone who gave us her all yeah. but then I think the government sort of like failed her because she started a career in 2000 okay around 2011 now she started getting sick and we sort of like didn't see her for the like next uh, approximately seven years yeah. until she came back now in 2012 she was uh, <coughs> diagnosed with uh, a condition called schizophrenia something mm -hmm. like that it, it, it has to do with you know mental it, it's yeah. mental and I think it also uh, comes because of the you know the punching Impact, in the head and yeah. also yeah. as a result uh, of the a, game exactly yeah. yes and so she she was, um, I think, admitted at a Kenyatta, where, is, is it Kenyatta? Madare, Madare yes, Mental Madare Hospital. Hospital. Yeah, it's a Madare Teaching and Referral Hospital. That's way back in September 2012, okay? And then Aka too, when guys were asking where is she, where is she, she even at some point burned down her house because she was furious she couldn't take care of her mental uh, health, she couldn't be, you know, finances, until the other day when the son, mm -hmm. I don't remember his name, but Sanaki Akadiem, Mike Sonko, mm. to help, to come through and help uh, Congestina, because she, she's not really in a very good mood, uh, I mean, good state. Mm -hmm. And I actually watched that video of Mike Sonko tra traveling to go all the way to pick Congestina. Mm. And then she was just discussing, but you can tell there's something terribly wrong with her health. Yeah. But also, the, the next time we got to see her, like before that was in 2019, yeah. where she came through for the Nairobi fight night at KICC. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And then somehow the star has deemed a bit for our yeah, heroine. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's really sad, man. <laughs> like some, some of the things that she was doing, 
even other female full uh, um, mm -hmm. boxers have not been able to do it to date. To date. Like 17 titles here at Niki Tukidogo. Yeah, okay, no. 17 titles and championships and whatever like the trophies are in that category. 17 mm -hmm. of them, and this is how she's living. Like again, when we are just about to vote, so you need to start considering it, what your um, governor, um, president, etc. is going to do for people like. Konje, because a lot of athletes uh, all around the country, even just Uganda, yeah, uh, they are living well because yeah. of their talent here. Imagine. You know, it's just, it's really, really sad because it's not like we have that many mm. boxers. Exactly. Yeah. And female boxers. Female boxers. Even at that work, it used to be such a huge sport that I remember my dad used to wake up just to watch it, you know. It was really, really huge. Then it died off for long time yeah. then it came back up mm. and kukuanam to come yeah we it feels like we're taking care of some athletes and not others we're taking of different kunawale when you want to need to take your care of na government na kunawale when you yeah. You know, mm. it doesn't take much. I remember when Carol Radu did a whole she thing did. together yes. and we, we raised money, mm. Akapeleko Hospitali, but then it feels like maybe we need to do something or the government probably needs to do something more substantial, more long term Ministry of to sports. help. Yeah. yeah. Because in end our people say, you know, exactly. she should be earning from it up to now mm. and if you hear the salaries of some of the people in charge of sports and culture in uh, kenya with the like, what like you can take job? care of all the athletes if you yeah. just get rid of yeah. that guy you know it's very unfortunate that that they're living like that anyway such such is the state such of is the country. state i think as kenyans we need answers yeah. we need we answers from these people that Kula are asking for na yo kura yes. and yet Omwezi kupeana ni chakula. This is someone, I, I don't know if you guys saw the images. Like, she looks so frail and yeah. sick. Yeah, she doesn't look yeah. okay, honestly. She's I did not see those okay. pictures. It's really, like, sad. Yeah. And, and like, like, even just, like, mentally, yeah. like, when you look at her eyes, she's not there. Like, yeah. Yeah. she's, like, struggling in between reality yeah. and whatever else, like, her mental state is taking her. It's very sad. It is very sad. Yeah. And I like what you said about, you know, as we get into the elections, we need to be yeah. able to just look into that space for the people that we are voting back in yes. because we are voting right yes. it is your right to do that now mm -hmm. talking about that ah, just gonna slide in the next story <laughs> <laughs> yeah. good <laughs> so the roots party wajakoya mm -hmm. the fifth eh? wajakoya the fifth eh? martin luther <laughs> black <laughs> malcolm x black wajakoya black <laughs> back <laughs> You know, um, the last couple of weeks we've been seeing the different political parties, the pre different presidential candidates come in and share their manifestos with us. And it's been very interesting to just hear what different presidents will do for us and the needs that we have. But stepping away from the usual, we had Wajakoya the fifth who uh -huh. came in and he's been very loud about it. Bangi, Lazima, Irudi, and he has his own reasons. Mm -hmm. And during his manifesto, uh, Manenos, that is when... He told us and broke it down to the millions. Na kasema nyeri kwanza ni malipa zuri sana pa kupanda bangi. Central! Kwa mbao tuwa nyeri kama uneza hama tu, hapo mtupatia shamba tupande. So among the things that he said that we need to do as a country, and the things that he will do when he gets into power, are very controversial, but here we go. So first, he's been very loud about legalizing bang and that it's not just smoking, but farming it and exporting it. And he says with this money, we'll be able to pay off our debts. He also continues to say that he'll introduce snake farming. So snake farming, tuneza pata ngozi, ya nyoka. Sumu yake tuneza kuwa tuki. Ikuwe vaccine ya sumu. Una get? Haya. Tukambiwa will be exporting dog meat. Now this worried me yeah now that you love your car dog yes. you've invited me to your home <laughs> me i'm just over there chorea in your dog <laughs> <laughs> so imagine all of my doggies and in the gero akina bosco akina rex they'll go missing they'll go missing simba na simba they'll go missing bullet but he says that a kilo yeah. of that yeah. will earn someone 2,400. Me, I'll be selling all your dogs. I'm Guy, sorry. If you can catch them, let's just start there. Okay, yeah. well, you can't even too. get near you them. You can't even you stand can't even those dogs. Uh, uh, tranquilizer. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> done. Okay, so the other thing he says that um, he will be very strict with corruption. And if anybody is cut up in that space where you had corrupt dealings, then the ultimate punishment for you will be hanging. Where the Hang all the corrupt, even the Alisema. Then he says he's gonna shut down the SGR. Eh? He's gonna shut yes, down the yes, SGR yes. to bring back the trucks business. Okay. All so, right. because there was a lot of conversation when Mizigo yeah. Ilianza yeah. Kuletua mm. to the in in ICD. Mm. So, in a kuja na train, in a in a weko. So, while a total business here, trucks. trucks could transport the containers, be a business, you kind of happy. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying, solution to that, see, could regularize, you know, shut down. Guy. So, <laughs> cooler. Take it out. 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 It's not going. Okay. Okay. So shutting down I the SGR. Yeah. Yeah. And so we'll be having Kenya. Nana, just get it out. <laughs> I can't. It's I can't. Can you see it? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. Well, so the other continue. thing is, we will be working four days a week: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday, <laughs> Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, Tunenda Kuomba. Moving on. <laughs> the, the the constitution will be suspended. I don't even think that's legal. Honestly. Capital city in Enda is Yolo. Wow. 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 Uko kuna international airport, even though Alisema. Where? Eh, na vitu zingine mingi. Na hyenas. Let me tell you something. Eh. This guy. <laughs> Okay, let, first first of all, this guy has a soma. Um, say, yes, very soma. Learned. This very guy learned. is he will find he probably doesn't even use that bank he that, well, he, that he's talking about. He, he said just, he doesn't, yeah, he's yeah, just using it as a is. means to an, an end, end, which for me, honestly, I think is a genius idea because if you look at all of the countries that have legalized it, especially for medical purposes, like in Rwanda, like in Uganda, they are making a killing using it to export but of course for you to use it for just medical purposes you have to have very high um security protocols the hairs in rwanda so do your farm so you have to have cctv you have to have 10 security guards you know mm. so that the workers don't help her with the yes. with yeah. the bank but at yes. the end of it all they are making a lot of money from it if you look at countries like netherlands canada in fact canada has even surpassed Netherlands in terms of the income that they make from Bandi. marijuana. And mm -hmm. Netherlands was the one that was making bank for years. Canada started two years ago, they surpassed everyone. Yeah. If you look at South Africa, all these other countries, when it comes to a cash crop, I 100% agree with him. Miss Jun Nani, I don't know who brainwashed our parents' generation. <laughs> Bang <laughs> na Satan, same person. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're going to ruin our community. Maybe that is I'm not telling you, our community. I'm right? telling you, there's an aunt of mine that was saying, mtoto kuna mtoto mmoja anafaa pele kwe hosi yeah. aende akapimwe bangi imefika wapi <laughs> kwa akili yake before wampeleke campus what do because you mean because they need to know how much it has affected the brain that's insane but anyway about wajakoya to be honest i loved him when he came in like mm. i loved what he was standing for mm. and, but uh, well apart from the bang mm. but now he's sounding like a joke <laughs> like that, that's 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 the saddest bit. According to me, like how do you talk about hyenas like that? But if you listen to him like breaking that? it down in terms of money, it's making like. A but lot it'll of make sense. sense, of course. It yeah. has he has to make it very palatable for mm -hmm. CC who mm -hmm. want that money. Like yeah. how do we get this money? He has a way. He has a plan. Yeah. But really, is it really doable? I don't think everything he says is doable. First of all, starting with suspending the constitution. I mean, we couldn't even change it. It's for the longest. Yeah. You remember when <laughs> you choose it to BBI, man. I I so, yeah. like, uh, Wajakoya has the, he has the capacity to be a dictator. And not like the worst kind of dictator, like the kind of dictator that will lead a country to develop. Because even mm. a lot of countries that are 10 years ahead of us, like Dubai, some sheikh came in and he said, even though we to, to, the, uh, this is how we are doing things, whether the you ends. like it or not. Mm. And 10 years later, they are the number one tourist spot. Mm. They have all the technology mm. and they were a desert. Okay, yes. 10 years ago, they were a pure desert. Like he has the capacity to be that kind of dictator. I just don't think Kenyans are ready for it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yes, so let me take you. I feel the wrong girl. Your story, Sana, but no, you should, like. Oh, you okay, know, I, I joyo. Let's just leave it. Let's leave it. Joyo um, <laughs> Now let me take you to our next story, which is actually a very sad one. Um, uh, a famous Kenyan actor, Maina Olwenya, who is known mostly for his role in um, Nairobi Half Life, has passed on. Now he did. 
um, it was reported that he collapsed yesterday, uh, not yesterday, m either Monday or Tuesday at 10 a.m. and the cause has not yet been known. So the family is just asking for time to do an autopsy, figure out what's going on. But unfortunately, the Kenya acting community has lost another good one. That is so yeah. true. Like when we, when you line up, when you talk about actors who are versatile, who are crazy in terms of how deep they will right. get into their yeah. characters yes. how good he was in terms of being all rounded yeah. it feels odd saying was you know was right like yeah, yeah. What? because he'd write he'd direct he'd he'd he'd, he'd put like he'd do voiceovers he'd just be everything yeah. an artist yeah he's it, supposed to be yeah like he was it like yeah. if you were to look for at the artist in the world of like who you're supposed to be it was my now like, yeah. uh, it was very unfortunate very unfortunate uh, I, uh the couple of times i've met him i honestly would always ask him like would you end a hollywood battle because <laughs> i honestly thought yeah. he was gonna get there yeah. and it's sad to lose him at such a time when now finally our uh, industry is doing so, so good well. you know so, so well. i country queen yeah. yeah country queen he's there right yes yeah. and, and and so many other productions that he's probably worked on the only that they're not out there right now mm. but i am sure there are movies that are gonna come out and he's gonna be there yeah. and, and it's sad that we had to lose him at such a tender age for me <sighs> I'm, I'm still i'm, I'm still yeah. sad like the sad end yeah. and of course rest in peace and manze family yake to to now ombea like to go to comfort and 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 everything that could not matter and be said to for sure Joyo, congratulations <laughs> 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 but yeah we will we we'll let you know if if, if anything yeah, further yeah, is reported up. about the cause of death we will definitely keep you updated yeah. and send your yeah. love send yeah. your love if you knew him if you experienced him yeah. You know, you have any kind words to say about his life and how he impacted you in one way or the other. Triple yeah. one, triple four, triple one, and all our social media platforms as well. Yes. Absolutely. Let me take you guys to the next one. And this one, I don't know if it's the Nairobi weather because it's super cold. I don't know. It is very I, cold. I, I haven't experienced this much cold in a while. Hey, well like it's, it's it so cold. We're sleeping in one season. tumeolewa, tunala na jampa, hudi, ivo, ivo tu. So I don't know if it's the cold confusing people to want blankety mtu, but there's a guy, an artist from Kakamega, his name is Vicky. Ooh, uyu ameamua yeye anataka murus, na si murus tu, <laughs> anataka azimio la umoja uh, deputy nominee, deputy president nominee, uh, Mother Karua. And he didn't even shy off a little bit. He said, I'm going to the studio to do what I love because he's an artist and do a song asking Mother Karua to marry me. Imagine, <laughs> mimi na kuambia hii Kanairo, Kanairo, akasema, nimeongelesha baba, anipe namba ya Mother Karua, ameninyima. Lakini hata hivyo, nita kupea kura, sababu, na kupenda. <laughs> like, th those are some of the lyrics to his song. Let me, let, acha ni wambia hii kile, anasema kuyo wimbo. Mother Karua, will you marry me? Baba aliniyama nama yako, tutapigia baba kura kwa sababu yako. <laughs> So went ahead to continue singing and of course sing his quest over and over again and said, Uhuru Kenyatta yuko api, anipeleke kwa yule msupa. Yeah, just that, that is loosely translated eh, to Uhuru Kenyatta to accompany <laughs> me to this video. Uhuru Kenyatta tafadhali nipeleke ni kalinde ma. Hari, nika linde mahari. Guys, sasa nani anapea na mahari hapa? Viki. Viki si kitu vya Viki. Huyu atapewa whips. Ama ako tu sawa. Check you shoot your shot. Shoot your shot. Ana to the Viki. All the best with your quest. All the best imagine. We I am honestly going to follow up to see if you will find her number because you're very brave. You know, uh, a lot of men are scared of you know independent finding, women. Uh, finding yeah. the number <laughs> and uh, finding the person. The person is yeah. different. different yeah. But you at least have my number, number. But at a number, 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 at So, our live spot topic today is a very interesting one because of uh, the <laughs> state of our economy globally. <laughs> See, Kenya, okay, okay. globally, yes. okay? 
Um, so the question is, um, is money the only problem solver in our lives? Currently, yes, me personally, just give me money. Thank you. Well, money isn't <laughs> everything, but everything needs money. That's true. I mean, it's that not is everything so true. for sure, but everything needs money. Who mona squeezy unaika? Me at least one sixty almost. Like one hundred and fifty seven. I don't believe that's a lot. I don't believe it. Sidani have lived to see this that, kind yeah, of this is sure. this is new for yeah. everyone yeah. you're going to the supermarket so i hadn't shopped in a very long time yeah. mm. i do bulk shopping mm. so ile na ingia kwa hadi unajua ni nini exactly unachukua hey. hey. so these ladies they saw me there's this ka um there's this wholesale oh, wholesale there's this wholesale i go to buy my mm. stuff from yeah. they see me and they're like hey hata hey. wewe ile siku ilikuwa hapa last ni lini utastuka and so my list ilikuwa imeandikwa mafuta ya kupika 10 liter kale ka kamtungi waliniambia price ya 10 liter ni kwanza ni patie ni 5 five itakuwa sawa afadhali mtunyonge five itakuwa afadhali mtunyonge bas usitunyonge money is not everything for sure but money is necessary that's true it is it is needed there are things like matters of the heart mm. love manenos those ones don't require money mm. unaweza deal <laughs> na roho yako na mahali muko <laughs> now Toro, the two I of you the the both yeah. ro i kuli <laughs> ah, ah, nasema the two of you mnaweza ngangana kutafuta venye hiyo pesa <laughs> mutakula na hii mapendo yenu yeah. no but on a, on a serious note obviously i know we we have this thing of um glamorizing money to a point of almost worshiping it you know like it's a god but money doesn't solve everything you think of a time when your loved one was like so sick you would have given everything yes. you have yes. to see them walk again talk again or you know not die you mm. know so when it comes to small small things like that or you see someone living like in a big mansion you think this guy they can't have any problems because that guy is probably <coughs> going through some mental issues that again money cannot solve because a lot of mental issues are not reversible you just have to manage them for the rest of your life so as much as i'm joking i'm like yeah give me money money will solve all my problems now don't worship money that is just the beginning of the end rule Obviously number one it, but don't worship it rule number one mm. make money rule number two make money to make more money yeah rule number three repeat mm. honestly yes money is not everything but definitely you will need it because you'll have financial issues back in the after the after the love is gone because love dies love does die but we have to keep tilling our land and keep you know weeding and taking off everything that we don't need but love in a kujanga lazima ushindange ukiyekea maji it's like a seedling yeah. you know yeah. so beyond if you guys don't talk about money issues <coughs> when you guys start <coughs> dating you will still have to have this conversation later yeah. so how do you make sure that, that you know like the conversation is right yeah. you start f- the money yo that your f so word <laughs> finances, <laughs> finances is that very is so important yeah. have that conversation mm. like where so bill tutakuwa tunalipa ndio usikue umeoa mtoto wa wenyewe yeye amekuja kukua ye probably a believing na kutafuta do kwenda yeah, kufanya kazi soft life. yeah na jua tu kwa nyumba pesa ikuje <laughs> ale, ale, alewe yeah, you know like afanywe you mm. know everything if you're not that kind of a man please mwambiange tu mapema isikuwe issue kesi baadaye unamwambia wewe kwani utokangi na wewe ulijua vizuri sana huyu atakangi so these are conversations of the hard ones yeah. 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 it yeah. is so true because so when avoid. you look at the statistics yeah. the top three things that break marriages finances is two apple top two yeah. Yeah. Number and pesa. then number two yeah. Yeah. so you can't <laughs> ignore the fact that finances money is a very important yeah. conversation to have mm. and i love what you said because we've seen really prominent people who just get sick yeah. and they can afford whatever treatment is there in the world yeah. and just going back to covid mm. covid you'd have money yeah. but hakuna oxygen hiyo hiyo hospital hakuna kitanda hakuna <laughs> anything yeah. so as much as money is important it mm. is it makes life easier yeah. it makes maisha yetu inasonga vizuri unaweza afford hii unaweza afford hakuna it reduces the stress mm. that we have in mm-hmm. life yeah. so it's good but yeah. again like um mm. was it nas one said more money more problem that is you true. know sometimes i look back at my life before i owned a business i was like anyway i took it for granted nilikuwa naishi vizuri as in i was living so well yani pesa iko inanisumbua sikuizi na sikinashika tu hivi pesa i'm like what does my business need that's true. i nini another ka check what does my business need mm. what it's like mm. having a child it's not the same obviously because that's a human 
but yeah just more money more, more problems. problems because your needs also <laughs> they increase they increase yeah. Yeah. They increase. oh my god my rent is 35k uh, oh my god uh, yeah, 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 in the millions <laughs> in the millions like i wonder what ukraine you know my my nini no <laughs> my millions are stuck in ukraine and <laughs> 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 there's this tiktok i saw about some babe who was saying how she does everything like how she's proper like submissive sub, like pro, like she will wash your feet kind of submissive uh-huh. and then women in the comment section were replying they're like yeah good on you girls so someone replied with a video and said please remember she's doing this for a millionaire mm-hmm. not someone when you go to kfc it's times two at your time time you a bill in half no uh-uh. if you're doing it for a millionaire fine you're doing it for someone who can't KFC you split the bill in half. Watch her, watch her, watch her, watch her. To ngelele pesa, Jemeni. To see, do not shy away from that. To memaliza, to to songe. Yes. Kwa sababu tuko kwenye advice board where you guys send in your questions and we try to our level best to give you our very different opinions but somehow, kasha kasha ine kau, you will find one that works for you. It's time for advice board. Oh my God. what you will need subtitles now because you know <laughs> Mikali has decided to speak in one you of know, her many mother tongues let's, let's so see. the you first have it? <laughs> yeah, I have it. the uh-huh. first issue is um my man thinks um abuse is only physical but he really abuses me verbally and i'm not comfortable please help i mean get out abuse is abuse <laughs> you know yeah. and um sometimes abuse progresses um it might feel like your, it feels like you're waiting for it to be physical. Mm. As long as I'm going to say, Majina, Zenye Siwewe, Zenye Ni Ugly, Zenye Ni Wanyama, Zenye Ni Zatabia Mbaya, you know, I'm going to say, Majina, Zenye Hazikufurahishi. And this is more than, you know, ile tocha ya pe- finance, ama you know. tocha ya anakugas light. Mm. This is to your face. Yeah. Yeah. Wewe ni, he 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 he, pa, umeambiwa, yeah. unangoja. Unajua, I, I, when, when we talk about emotional also abuse, mara mingi we are thinking even when you're talking. Like, yeah. kwenda huko, wewe una, zile mm. ma, th- mm. those are printable and s- th- th- words we can't even say. Yeah. There's also silent treatment. Yes. Like, mm. uh, if someone is treating you like, u- tu, you know there's an issue, but they don't want to uh, deal with it. It's just silence. Like, acha ni mnyamazie wiki moja. Mm. Isn't that not emotional abuse? It, is, is, abuse. it is abuse. It is abuse. So abuse has many turns. Mm. So unatukanwa, unashemiwa. Do you know those people who make you feel small? Mm. Like you literally can't like what are you wearing? Do you know what like it makes you look and like? Even, you even and think you know, twice. You're like, I'm a, Exactly. Yeah. Uh, those people who, who refuse to take responsibility for whatever. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, hata wife, I'm sorry. Made you feel. And when they say sorry, is pole basi kama nili. That's not an apology. If it makes you better, si basi sorry. Eh, kama uh, kama basi, bizu, if it offended you, I'm si like, no, sorry. that's not an apology. Uh, no. It did offend me. So, like, what the hell, man? And, like, the thing with um verbal and emotional yeah. abuse, like, there's no scars, you know? Yeah. Like, not physically. F- physical. It all goes mm. into, like, a part of your brain where now it sticks there and you start believing what this other person has told you. Have yeah. you ever met, like... One of the most confident women you have ever met in your life, and then a few months into their relationship, they, you don't even recognize them. Yeah. It's because those words slowly, you know, the more you tell yourself something, the more you believe it. Even yeah. though someone else is telling you, it's still as if you are telling you, I wish I never If every day you wake up and your mother is telling you, Mother, I wish I never had you. Yeah. You know, you're so ugly. You're the yeah. reason uh, uh, your, my father, your father left, uh, left me. Those things slowly embed themselves in someone's brain yeah. to the point. They don't. They don't actually believe they're worth living. Yeah, and then so you, you, you sort of like question your sanity. Yeah, una Julie like you lose yourself so much so that like mm. you don't even recognize yourself in the mirror. You look at yourself and you're like, uninani, yeah. you know. But sometimes yeah. you, I- before you get to that point where you can now actually question, it's already happened so many you times believe. before you, you believe, believe and everything. you lose mm. all the things that you had in terms of before, character yeah. in terms of principles exactly. things that you believed in maybe you grew up well mm. you grew up being told you're beautiful you're loved mm. and then you deserve all the good things Imagine. in life then you but meet then this they take away they take away the things that were embedded in you as yeah. a child growing yeah. up mm. you slowly forget about them and you're okay so you'll hear people saying things like so we're at a party yeah. Yeah. and then you come in and say some nasty thing at you know your partner yeah. Yeah. And you see them smiling. 
and the, the person who's been abused. And when you tell them, ah, how are you taking this? Ah, and I'm it's not evil. I'm like, you know, oh. you've forgotten so much. Mm. You can't, it's not easy for you to pull yourself out of that. You need yeah. a lot of help yeah, for you to get true. out of that situation. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have communicated to your boyfriend that um, the way he talks to you and the way he says some things, is yeah. uh to not to you is verbal abuse yeah. and he does not understand all that is that is clearly someone who doesn't want to change so you need to be with someone who's not going to make you feel like that it's that simple man I like there's only so is. many times you can communicate the same thing yeah. over and over again yeah. because some people have let's be honest terrible backgrounds by the way to him it was normal like yeah. in the household it was yeah. normal mm. you're as useless as your father it was normal so if you bring that into the relationship and you communicate that you are not happy with it and he continues it's time to get out yeah yeah that's but true that's honestly simple. there are things that you shouldn't agree to deal with and especially if you're dating because yeah. i don't know who lies to you that the minute you guys get married and live in the same house everything is going to change, change. change. it's only going to be aggravated it, the fact that this, it, it, it has to go to the mm. hundred if it was at 50 or 60 and you're here thinking in term change nah -ah. it's only you who's, who's sanitizing this man yeah. in your head it's an illusion that you have that you're thinking probably along somewhere along the line things are gonna change they're not gonna change yes they're gonna change they're gonna be worse, worse. and the thing is you are giving them all the power you yeah. give them the tools you everything you showed because him it's okay yeah. I yeah. Be okay it. Yeah. oh ah i'm a coil ah next time how about you just hit her mm. ah next time and then the, there's the other one that they keep taking things yeah. from you yeah mm. so no conjugals today yeah. even the whole month that is abuse. Yeah. That's abuse, man. It like you shouldn't abuse. photo bombing. You know, and not you, love, love bombing. Love you, bombing. Like, you shouldn't be withholding love yeah. if you love someone unconditionally. Okay. Yeah. So even though someone has upset you and you you are the type to give silent treatment, just figure out a way how you'll be communicating. Just grow up, you. talk. Yeah. 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 <laughs> talk <about this> <laughs> Mama, just say <laughs> like, listen, I don't want to talk right now. Do you know that's still communicating? That just be like, I don't want to talk right now. Let yeah. me cool down. Yeah. Yeah. Are you twelve? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> our uh, next advice um so <laughs> this is an interesting one guys it mm -hmm. is so i used my boyfriend's toothbrush and he was really angry my answer was see who are to kiss babe what's the problem with that you're my man ew like no no maybe it's, maybe this is the germaphobe in me but the bacteria that you exchange in saliva is not the same as the one that is literally rotting your teeth do you know that's what rots your teeth like yeah. cavities <laughs> Like there's certain bacteria you in your kissing? teeth. Like no, I'm just saying. Oh, it's like the toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, what if that stuff like stays on the toothbrush and then I'm putting it in my teeth and then I end up having, I don't know, me, I'm just a jammer I'm like, just stay away from my toothbrush. <laughs> just use your own. Thank well, you. Pendua. Okay, pendua. Ah, ah, you. Ah, so to the point she where she you, want to share, you want to share that it is. But you want to share that it is. And now you're, you're using my toothbrush. So you, you want us to share <laughs> cavities. You see what I'm saying? Na shida ya meno. Alafu, tumeongea story ya pesa. Na hakuna pesa ya kwenda. 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 Na hakuna Brush no, like the <laughs> mouth, the mouth is just oh no. brush, alafu na ambia baby ni pesa sa. you've even brushed your tongue in it. No, no. Si unaosha kwa ni toothbrush. Si unaosha. I'm gonna tell me like a kuskripta. Guys, you can't convince me otherwise. It's not the same as kissing, okay? I enjoy kissing. I don't enjoy exchanging bacteria knowingly into my teeth. <laughs> Do you boo? <laughs> you are, you are share that brush. Yeah, come you my pension we go if us mean to elewa aje. Would you share yours? Mean the same. If I was into that kind of thing. But right now do you share your toothbrush? I don't. Okay, thank God. I, but, I just think like you need but, to to, to protect the boundaries. Like if if uh, <laughs> if they feel like uh, they can't share the toothbrush with you. Please respect Usim Kasirisha. Yeah. I, I have you watched Love Is Blind? It was the first yeah, one yes. that they yeah. were just like, whatever yeah. happens, yes, we love each other, we're moving in, but uh, hey, hey, to brush our copies. Yeah. I'm oh like, it's okay God. if if you both of you agree to doing such kind of yeah. things, yeah. But if any one person doesn't feel, you know, the need to do that. Mm -hmm. Just respect, like. Eh. I see it I'm out of foot up here. I'm out of data. I want to do you share brushes. Like but that's what I'm saying. Just say it. Never, yeah. never, never. Share if you like. Never. 
Mm -hmm. You know, like, hey, I, I can't even imagine someone, I would actually die. Aki mapenzi wewe. Neza itupa, imagine, I'll buy a new one. Aki mapenzi. There's no even that you're putting it in hot water, I'm throwing it. Joyo <laughs> will do your mapenzi. You I'm don't know that kind of love. Pedro, Joyo. Trust me, I have known love before. Joyo, <laughs> this is another <laughs> type of love. <laughs> to, like, you want me to brush your tongue and you want me to know. <laughs> I think the next question is also <laughs> related to yeah. sharing with boyfriends. Since I usually wear my boyfriend's boxes when I'm chilling at home, is it a bad hobby? Please advise. And I'm just going to start. Hey, see, you are lucky. And I to share. You would love to. I don't to. know. I don't know. You wouldn't relate. No. How? <laughs> Find your match. Mm. We can. Uh -uh, my match Find is okay. My match is okay. <laughs> You could you know, take it too. Um, wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say something. Let me just. Ah, <laughs> Joyo, please. Of course, me will to share honestly. Oh, just checking. Like, just checking. Okay, just checking. Like, just checking. Okay. okay, the, the either the either are too big or like you know big enough for me to like. Yeah, you know, I think so. Cause yeah, I'm wet. Most of the time, Jo, me na kuanga mtu a slender gang. They kind, they are baggy. Yeah. What do you mean they are baggy? <laughs> oh, we're in dog. Yeah. Ah, okay. So as much as you know, I like. So it depends on what they are wearing. Yeah. Come as on, about like come on, ile ina shika. Mister, come on, just kia point ya. And the same one, you know, I said since I oh, like the sl men on the slender side of things. Okay, mm -hmm. that would make the two of us. You know, I like people with like <laughs> almost. <laughs> of course, we can. <laughs> almost footballer bodies. I don't know if you guys know what footballer bodies is, but ah, uh, but they are those. Anyway, I'll explain another time. But like footballers are different from like rugby ones because you know rugby ones. I think they. Exactly. Hope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I have no problem. Like, what to buy boxer shorts? Wait, wait. Una, una fanya aje. Iko, iko ma, iko. Na zatosha. Boxer. <laughs> boxers, I don't compare boxers because I'm not sure. I don't think <laughs> boxers are the quangi, the meshkin. Eh, now the washikal, the easy. Eh, see at it. It's not holding on to the life. I mean, I do too. I miss our mukona hope. Mina do hakuna. Hakuna hope. I think so. No. Unless you're not kinyasa. Unless you're not much of a boy. Na kinyasa iko ina za apa ko waste ina za ko expand. Ko ita ko short. Hakuna ni ni ita ko ni ni. Ita ko something. Ita ko underwear. <laughs> is let the vanga to tight us. No, box, yeah. uh, to me, boxers are not a big deal. At least, you know, those ones are washed and um, men don't have but a lot going on down there. <laughs> what so do you mean they don't? They actually do have a lot going on. A lot. Now, the worst thing about trout. that, that's a whole conversation, is because they probably do not know how to take care of how to... Yani, yani men yani. don't know how to take care of their own junk? That's crazy. It's not just not me, not just. No, no, just kuna wana mwenye sana waogi sahi kuna barini. Like let's start there. Do you just do twenty of air? That's why I'm saying when they are washed, usi usi ngodi azito ya lafu zivai again. That's germs. Okay. I don't know. I think. I know. The point I was going with is, you know, they know how to. I'm just like, there's not much going on. I'm just like, ah, there's much going on. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like you can't you can't compare it with you know what goes on down there for women. You know. I wouldn't wear another woman's underwear even though it's been washed, you know. <laughs> but I'd wear a guy's boxer if it's been oh washed. Oh God! Do you know you, you you just cut a, a lot, like a lot. What do you mean, <laughs> what do you mean a lot? <laughs> the, the women who have engaged with other women and they find that. Uh, I'm saying me personally because me I know what happens down there as a woman uh -huh. and I do not want. You know, mm, uh, exchange. Okay, exchange. Okay, we are not doing that. Oh my God! Wow, you guys. I will meant kill of me. like jams. No, we get it. So we've come to the end of the show. Now. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, we have. Oh my God! Triple one, triple four, triple one is the SMS line. If you have any questions that you'd like us to tackle on the next one, please do your SMS. Line. You can even WhatsApp. Imagine Kwanza for free. Data to the okay now. Now squeeze in the Vitu data watu wa walipi. So of course, mm -hmm. catch us in the next one. We love you guys. And of course, we'd love to hear from you, your feedback. So Switch TV KE on Instagram, on Facebook, Switch TV Kenya, and on YouTube, Jukopale Switch TV Kenya. So Karibu. Switch, Switch TV. Oh yes, Switch TV. Yeah. Tunawapenda sana and see you on the next one. Mwah.